What's up everybody? Today we will talk about this specific problem where we mentioned in the you know previous video, right? And now I'm going to talk about and explain the step by step, right? Uh, one by one the functions that I coded uh, to implement this in MATLAB. And I wanted to you know explain that on the paper. Okay. So in the previous problem, right, you give me this, right, or you mm, provide that to the algorithm, right, the algorithm that we'll be talking about. And for example, you can just sketch on a piece of paper and you can just generate and this matrix that I will call X, capital X, right? Maybe I should do it, but you know, capital X. And as soon as you generate that, right? And you also need to generate after that, after that, right? This is like step one, step one. After that, X ID, where that matrix, um, each entry indicates an ID of the node that corresponds to, right? Uh, in X and I am looking at this. This is just there, you know, one, two, three, four, 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 five, etc. Right? And by using, for example, reshape, re reshape function, and you can generate that, right? For example, starting from one to length of x, right? For example, you can vectorize it, vectorize it, and you can get the number of entries in that matrix, right? And you can also give, for example, row number and column number, right, of that X matrix. For example, here in this case, we we are considering four by four, like a square matrix. However, it may be the case where we have a rectangular matrix, and that's why you like to, you know, Maybe you want to uh, especially dignify or provide row and columns, right? H and so this was the step one. So here this is given, and you are going to generate this XID matrix, right? Where we keep the or store the ID values of the nodes, and now we are. Here in this step two, where we talk about, for example, create note list. Note note list is a list or an array, right? And there are a bunch of notes in it. Dot dot dot. Sixteen, for example, right? Or maybe hundred, maybe depend on you, right? One, two. However, it says starts from one. Right, not one, not two, dot dot dot, not sixteen. Okay, and these objects that I, you know, highlighted with X, right? They are called nodes, nodes, a node. Here, maybe you like to give them the name of self, or um, maybe you like to call them points. Maybe you like to call them rectangles, right? And okay, so not is not like the you know built-in you know term for that, especially. I mean, it's common to use that, but you know, it's not. For example, when you write not in MATLAB, MATLAB doesn't know that MATLAB recognizes it as a variable that you like to you know um, take a value, assign a value to, right? So node will have like one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six numbers of fields, right? Here let me get another color, right? Here, ID, depth, parent, search, location, and type, right? Okay. So there will be six fields. Of course, maybe you like to add other fields, right? And to make it quote unquote smarter, the nodes, 
maybe you like to store more information in each node. Although, let me remind you, you are going to do that for you know more sophisticated uh, applications when you implement that code to that to those. And however, there is a one side effect to that that would I mean impede your I mean that will cost a lot of storage. And also, it may be the case where you your program you know mm, runs way, way slower, right? It may impede the computation of speed. All right, ID, ID, or name maybe. For example, you can call it name, but ID would make sense to me. And it is a number. For example, this is not one, and the ID of that is one, right? And two, three, and however, for not number four, the ID must be not seven. ID must be seven, and this is like very really important. And of course, I'm joking, by the way. Okay, that that was a bad joke. And four, five, etc. Right? And okay, and depth is a also number for example when we consider that since we only consider the case where you are able to move from left right and up and down right since that is the case um, for example this is depth one this is depth two right this is depth three four five six right however if you were to i mean if you have the ability right in your problem to move diagonally on top of you know left right and up and down right you would be I mean that will be the case that will be no yeah that that, that will be the case this will be depth one this will be two and three right Okay, and um, all right. So this is what that is all about. And after that, parent. Yeah, this is actually a controversial one because, I mean, just to show you explicitly, just to make it like really intuitive, I said not, right? And for example, if you were using C plus plus, you would use pointer to the parent node right you would use that and by the way let me just i mean state that state the elephant in the room if you were i mean if you if you know c plus plus and if you use pointers efficiently let's be honest you are not you are, you are not watching this video so okay and <laughs> so nodes right however that would I mean, if you implement that, it of course it looks intuitive. It makes sense when you try to learn the pseudocode. When you try to um, code that is very similar to what your pseudocode would be, right? It would make sense. However, it would totally run slower. What do I mean? I mean this. You can just just store node ID, and this is a number. However, nodes that may that may be possibly slower. Okay. Of course, I'm not going to more talk more. Hopefully, talk more about the you know speed of the speed aspect of the you know uh, program and the problem. That like incredible, incredible algorithms, programming tactics to make it really uh, incredibly, you know, faster. Okay. And, all right. And search is like Boolean, true or false. We have search or we have search, right? Okay. And location. And location is, just let me show that. For example, the location of node numbers, node ID 6 or node 6, right, is row 2 forum 2 right 
rotation of node 15 for example is row 4 and column 3 right okay so um and you can see here there is a one to one correspondence between id number and location meaning if if i have that x id matrix right and if i know the id i can directly determine the location right and this is something that we need to you know use All right this is search location and type of course there are three types here let's here let's look at this for example this is start node and this is end node right and these these are the walls right and to indicate walls we just set their number one right one means wall zero means space right these are spaces where we are able to move that locations okay and start to indicate start or type of start is like five right there are just four it is actually you can make that of course you can make number and that number can o can only be zero one three five however for example you can make mm, zero one two three and you can store that as four bits right int or unsigned int four or something however i don't know if i mean i heard about unsigned int eight let me <laughs> let me just check that okay doc on int four let's look at if there is something called unsigned int okay i checked it and there is u int eight right 8 bit integer or there is no such a thing as u int 4 or something but i bet there is some way of getting around this issue i mean i also heard about categories right for example that will be more space efficient anyway i'm just you know these are mm, not totally related issues to the problem that we are talking about and the step two is this you need to create note list and notice looks like this right each of them are is not a note and here is the structure of note and for example i mean not for example you are going to just do that for 16 times right and you are i mean that sounds exhausting however you can do that a for loop and since you have that xid matrix right since you have that information uh, it's not hard to do actually meaning meaning for example let's look at this let's look at this for example for that's hard hard code it right and just consider me that i written all of them here i write all of them here right and not that id for example right what is that i mean it is it is just i i right it is just the iteration index that we use so here one field sort and this field this field and this field they must be zero null or empty and false these are default so you are not going to change that for any node and you just you, you can just write that here the same thing right you can write that for these three fields and i'm looking at this yeah location location is important right so let me just write that 
parent search right and location however you have xid matrix here xid matrix and you also have x right so you can just since you know the id you can compute location meaning row and column values so and we will going to i mean we are going to use some function for that some function and this is what i'm trying to say is this it will not be a problem it is like very easy right for example here i have x id and what is the location row and column values of heaven for example and i have x id matrix and let me just directly write for my quotes let me remind myself what that was i'm looking at this and here okay just one line one line right row and column right i'm looking at this find x id equals equals i i this, this is it right so meaning if you want to get the location of seven you just write seven here right and by the way let's focus on what it is x id equals equals seven right and this will give you right zero 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 one one because here seven is located here in this location zero 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 okay and find just does that and if you give that matrix if you give that matrix to find function and if there is only one one there is only a unique one it will give you the row and column however a law is like a good function that you will be using in, in that program if there are a couple of ones just one two three four five right it would give you five rows and five columns right uh, meaning this row would be a five by one vector and this column would be a five by one five by one vector okay so now that we get that out of the way right let's delete all else so and the final thing is the type and since you have the x information since you have the x matrix right you can just check that of course uh, through a for loop and if if Contour mechanism, right? You can construct basically construct the note list. Okay. And after that, I feel like the things will get easier. And step three, right? Is the function is by the way it, it is step three, but let me just say one. Okay, because we are now talking about the specific functions in the program. In the program that I coded, right? And the name of the function is row call to ID. And it's like very explanatory, right? Give me <laughs> give me row and column or give me the location, right? Give me the location and I will give you the ID. And you are going to see that and it's like a couple of less two or three lines, right? Okay. And this makes sense, right? Just row call to ID. Just give me location, row and column, right? And I will give you the ID. Okay. Because in the uh, our in, in the program, right? In the coding, we will use that type of um, transition from location to ID, right? We will use that type of thing. And for that type of thing, um, as soon as you think hey i might need something like this if you think something specific example just write the function just don't even think about it just write it and you know what the funny case is this maybe you will not even use that in the program however to me to me it would make sense 
if 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 it is something that um, appears in your pseudocode, right, or more sophisticated, like your pseudocode and your something, I don't know what it is, and your real code, if that is, if you think about some function that appears in your quasi <laughs> quasi pseudocode, right, or more advanced pseudocode. You should write a function for that. I feel like, right? Okay. Because when you need it, just you can use that function, right? Just build, the, you know, lay, lay down the bricks, right? And then you can build on top of that, right? Okay. So this was the function one, and what is the function two? Just really. Interesting by the way. ID to row coif. Row column, right? ID to row coif. Okay. Now I wonder what that is, right? And you are like, hey, I I I have no idea what, what it is, right? And of course I'm joking. Give me ID and I will calculate row and column, meaning location. Location. Just this is like the kind of inverse of it. Because because the case is this location and ID. And because of the special, and this is important, like right? this special structure. For, for example, th there is a really good st structure, right? For example, the previous case. Let's consider the previous. What the previous example was that? For example, S, A, B, E, G, right? There was not like a good. Mm, special structure that we were able to mm, exploit we kind of needed to for example generate to ge to be able to generate the children we need to have some dictionary right just s and children are a and b right b the children s now since that was direct but let's consider non-directed case right s and e dot 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 we needed that type of structure to, to be able to generate the function so, so uh, the children right quote unquote to children and however in this case there is a special structure and it is very easy for us to generate the children because of that structure okay for example for example let's look at this six right what are the ch uh, mm, children nodes, right? Two, five, ten, seven. Let's zoom that, right? Here. Let's not do that. Okay. And how can we know that, by the way? Or let me ask you this. Let me ask you in another fashion. Do did we need? Uh, um, dictionary to generate two, five, seven, and ten Ch children nodes, right? No, we didn't because we only use the X and X ID matrices. We only use the um, what I'm trying to say, I guess, is this the X and X ID matrices are in and of are themselves are the dictionary that we would use in more. Um, advanced maybe in more different problem where we do, didn't have that type of special structure right okay and okay so let's unzoom right Not, okay so where were we yeah there was a one-to-one -one connection correspondence between id and location okay so the Function number. By the way, this I, I hope this will be a, you know a little shorter video compared to other ones. And map plot, right? Map plot, and you will give me not list, not list. And since in by the way, every information that we will use is in that structure that we call not list. Right, and using not list for example, 
you can generate x and you can generate x id right and map map plot like the map right map plot plot um, will will basically will basically generate this plot here this how will it do that i mean it will use use wait a sec uses uh, let me type that image sc and image sc is this you just give it a, some matrix and it will for example one two three four right if you give, give that image sc it will for example make this like a really clear color and for example since four is like really ha ha the, the, the biggest number right and this will be kind of the colors between them right there will be some grades of I want to say gray. I mean, of course, you can do that. Anyway, you you'll see. What I'm trying to say is this: the image SC will be the main function that will be used to generate that type, to generate, to generate this, to generate this matrix. Okay. All right. So let's move on. And by the way, map plot will also. <laughs> Mm, we can also provide other arguments we will provide it with note list however and it will it will generate this it will generate this picture right and we will also give a list or an array of ids note ids for example I am going to give one, two, and three, right? I'm going to give that. And it will just circle that given nodes, right? And this will, you know, be something very handy. And let's look at the let's look at the number four, the fourth function. And the name of that function is find neighbor id right find neighbor id meaning is that we have x and x id right we have x and we have x id actually we are not 100 percent need we don't 100 percent need x however x id is the only thing that will we will need for example get x id right and i will give you six and you that function will give me two five ten and seven right okay that, that that's all that, that's it this function will do that i mean if you like to you know um, atomize the problem where you will uh, generate like or decompose the problem into like top problems with the subroutines for example to be honest this will be the first thing or one of one of the first thing that you would um, write a function for right okay the function we have that type of function all right and i will give you some id and you will give me the children or the na na neighbors yeah you can we can call neighbors too, by the way right like an Im image forcing right anyway so okay conceptually these functions are like very easy and we will see since we are using or we will be using matlab the implementation is as well also easy okay and the fifth function is gen children right generate children and in that in that we'll give some note we'll give some like note one for example right and it will give us let's look at what the neighbors of it two and five right? this is one and two and five right okay and it will give us some array where 
node 2 and node 5 will be in that. Okay, all right. No, I don't need to delete that. And the final, final function. Really, there are like only all, all things and only six um, functions. And we use that only for our map plot function, only for our, you know. Our need to debug, I guess, right? Give it around. And this is the function where we will supply, right? Some nodes one, node two, for example. We will supply a list of nodes, right? And it will give the out. Walls and search equal true, meaning we don't want to consider walls, wall nodes, right? And we don't want to again reconsider the ones we have considered before, right? Okay, this this will make sense. By the way, right? This will make sense. Okay, because we only need to. Um, open quote unquote open the ones that we haven't op opened before right okay so what i'm trying to say is this a b c d okay you store a and b right for example and the children of or c right Right? and a and b and c right and you generate the children of b and they are like a and c and d right so gen children b here in that context would give you would give you a c and d here the children of b a c d right okay however in our open set or union of open and closed set right we have a and c so we don't need to consider we can filter out and in also for our problem we don't need to consider the nodes that corresponds to walls right okay so that was the final function and i feel like there is is there something that i need to yeah okay all right so let's close that session right thanks for watching in the next video we'll talk about matlab implementation okay we are go we will go through the functions step by step right and it's like 100 lines of code so don't worry about it it's like very, very easy and intuitive it's not something that is very totally uh, different from what we have considered before meaning the pseudocode or the advanced pseudocode right and that's all i need to say and thanks for watching